Welcome to Ask the Beauty Advisor, a podcast that answers your health and beauty questions. Hosted by health and beauty advisor, Deanna Lynn. Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Ask the Beauty Advisor. This is the podcast where we talk about all things health and beauty to help you stay young and healthy. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about telomeres. Telomeres are not only the keys to aging, but they're also the keys to life and death. So on today's episode, I'm going to be answering your questions on how we can protect our telomeres. This is an important subject because not only by protecting your telomeres can you slow down the aging process, but you can also extend your life. So please stay tuned because I think this is something you're really going to want to hear about. All right, so before we get into our topic today, I have an announcement to make. The newsletter that you've been asking me about is finally ready, and you should be receiving it in your inbox by the 1st of April. I want to give you all who've joined the newsletter a big thank you. And if you haven't joined the newsletter, you're really missing out. You can get the very first monthly newsletter by joining on the blog, askthebeautyadvisor.com. There's an icon there you can click on. Going to the Facebook page and joining on our Facebook page, Ask the Beauty Advisor. By joining the newsletter, this could be a very convenient way for you to get all your health and beauty news delivered right to your inbox. I'm going to be including things like extra health and beauty tips that I don't have on the podcast, um, weight loss tips, recipes, do-it-yourself beauty treatments, and much more. The newsletter will get progressively better as it goes along. I would really love for you to be a part of this. So please, if you want to get the very first newsletter, it's just a monthly newsletter, you can go to the blog or you can go find us on Facebook. You've got mail, Miss Lynn. So this week's episode was inspired from an email I received from Renee, and I'm going to read you her email in just a second. Renee actually inspired this episode. The topic of telomeres is such an important topic. Now, today's topic might be a little sci-fi-ish for you, but it is an important topic. It's important to understand telomeres. Like I said, they're the key not only to aging, but to your health and your wellness. Okay, so now let me go ahead and read that email I received from Renee. Hi there. This is one of your podcast listeners. My name is Renee. What do you know about telomeres? I have heard they hold the key to anti-aging. And products with telomeres can prevent wrinkles. But they're so expensive. So I'd really like to know your honest opinion. Are they worth the money? And also, I'm really unsure exactly what a telomere is. Could you explain it to me in simple language? Thanks a lot, Renee. Well, Renee, this is a big question, and it really deserves a big answer. Telomeres are the tips of the DNA strands that control our cells. They keep these protein chains from unraveling, much the way the plastic tips on shoelaces keep the laces intact. I have a picture of this on the website, so you can check it out and see exactly what I'm talking about here. Studies have shown that telomeres become shortened as we get older, and the shortened telomeres can't protect DNA. When the DNA is damaged, the cells can no longer reproduce, and they die off. Studies have shown that people with diabetes, heart disease, and other diseases have shortened telomeres. The telomeres of wrinkled, saggy skin cells are also shortened. So let me explain this a little bit more clear so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Inside the nucleus of a cell, our genes are arranged along a twisted, double-stranded molecule of DNA called chromosomes. At the ends of the chromosomes are stretches of DNA called telomeres, which protect our genetic data, making it possible for cells to divide and hold some secrets to how we age and get cancer. Yet each time a cell divides, the telomeres get shorter. When they get too short, the cells can no longer divide. 
they become inactive and die. This shortening process is associated with aging, cancer, and a higher risk of death. So telomeres have also been compared with a bomb fuse. Telomere science has certainly changed everything we knew about aging. But today I would really like to talk to you about the other half of the anti-aging equation. Maybe you already know about protecting your telomeres. You can really slow down and even reverse the aging process. You see, your telomeres are a little bit like countdown clocks that protect the DNA in your cells. They shorten with each cell division, and the shorter they get, the faster you develop the signs of aging. So by protecting and nourishing them, you can literally turn back the years. A group of especially brilliant scientists won the Nobel Prize for discovering a body enzyme called telomerase, which keep the telomeres long and strong. Now that's the good news. But the bad news is telomerase actually helps cancer cells grow. So clearly, adding telomerase either in supplements or in skincare products is not a safe anti-aging strategy. Despite the link to cancer, there are products out there that offer to improve telomeres. There are supplements made from the Chinese herb astragalus root that a single study has shown to increase telomeres in humans. These products can be very expensive, and their efficiency and safety have not yet been approved by the FDA. Now, when it comes to skincare products, it's really doubtful that the agents that are meant to stimulate telomeres can actually be absorbed into the skin's DNA. But given the link between telomerase and cancer growth, lack of absorption probably is a good thing, not only for your health, but also for your wallet. So is there really a safe way to protect our telomeres? So really, is there anything we can do to help our telomeres stay long and healthy? As it turns out, the same healthy lifestyle factors, including exercise, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, olive oil, and antioxidants maintain telomere health. But at the same time, alcohol, drinking, stress, and UV exposure damages and shortens telomeres. This just reinforces the importance of our lifestyle choices for all aspects of our health and fitness. But like I said before, what I really want to talk to you about today is the other half. It's also been discovered that telomeres are only half the story when it comes to aging. Let me explain. Telomeres protect the DNA inside the nucleus of each cell in your body. But there is other DNA in each cell outside the nucleus. You see, your cells also contain tiny originelles called mitochondria. These are the power plants that turn fuel into energy. And your mitochondria have their own DNA and their own impact on the aging process. It seems that mainstream medicine still ignores the anti-aging pow power of mitochondria. But in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can boost your mitochondria while at home. But first, let's take a look at why your mitochondria is so important. Each of your cells has at least one of these tiny power plants. The average cell has about 200. And cells for important organs, like your heart and brain, can have more than 10,000. Now, here's the problem. As you age, these tiny power plants become damaged and start to die off. And you lose your capacity to make energy. The first thing that happens is that your cellular energy dies. You feel tired and fatigued, but then they start to malfunction, and that's when devastating diseases can follow. Today, this happens at a faster rate than what your parents and grandparents experienced, because now we're living in a highly toxic environment, an exposure to toxic chemicals that cause the body to age faster. You see, today we're faced with accelerating aging because of our environment factors, such as cigarettes, smoke, and from the sun. Its effects can age you prematurely, but there are ways to support your mitochondria. 
And you can do this without big pharmaceutical meds, but with nutrients. And here are just four of the nutrients recommended that have been proven to support your mitochondrial, your mitochondrial's function and boost energy. The first nutrient that I want to talk about here, or supplement if you want to call it that, is CoQ10. Coenzyme Q10 sparks your aging cells' engines to make them more energetic. And it's a potent free radical scavenger, soaking up oxidized molecules before they can cause any damage. It's recommended that you take 50 milligrams of CoQ10 daily. Look for the ubiquitol form. It's a more powerful form, and it's much easier for your body to absorb. Number two of these important nutrients is acetyl-L-cartitine. The amino acid L-cartitine plays a crucial role in making energy in your cells. It transports fatty acids into the mitochondria. And believe it or not, the best form of L-cartitine is grass-fed red meat. But you can also supplement by taking at least 500 milligrams of L-A-L-C every day on an empty stomach. Now look for a formula with only L-cartitine and not D-L-cartitine. D-cartitine is synthetic. Number three of those very important nutrients, N-acetylcysteine or NAC. This amino acid is the most powerful antioxidant. You see, NAC helps make glutathione, the body's own most powerful antioxidant. Glutathione is the main line of defense for your mitochondria. Studies have shown it protects your telomeres from oxidative damage. It's recommended 500 milligrams per day of the supplement. And lastly, but certainly not least, is the nutrient Rhodiola rosa. This is a tough little flower, and it's native to the Arctic mountains of eastern Siberia. And in studies, it's been seen to powerfully energize patients in just a few months. They seem visibly younger and stronger, and they say they feel that way too. Research has proven what's been seen in patients. Lab rats given rhodiola were able to swim 25% longer before becoming exhausted. That's because the herb helps trigger energy in the mitochondria. Rhodiola can help energize people. Just one 2 milligram dose helped people in one case study improve their exercise endurance. In another case study, students taking 100 milligrams of rhodiola every day improved their capacity to work, their learning levels increased by 61%, and their fatigue levels dropped by 30%. You can find rhodiola tea in your local health food store, or you can take it in a capsule form. It's recommended that you take 200 milligrams a day on an empty stomach, preferably in the morning because rhodiola stimulates your brain. Stimulate your brain, huh? Wow, I could use some of that right about now. All right, so I have tons more information about this topic on the blog, askthebeautyadvisor.com. I have the direct link for this episode in the show notes. You might want to follow that. There is tons more information. So go to the blog and you can read all about this in much more detail. We interrupt this podcast to bring you a quick health tip. There's a lot of money in the Western diet. The more you process any food, the more profitable it becomes. The healthcare industry makes more money treating chronic diseases than preventing them, which accounts for three quarters of the two trillion plus dollars we spend each year on healthcare in this country. Food processing began as a way to extend the shelf life of food by protecting it from these competitors. This is often accomplished by making the food less appealing to them, by removing nutrients from it. Thank you, Paul, for that brief but important message. Well, to that ends today's episode, but I want to invite you back next week. Next week, I plan to have our guest, Azam Shah, on. I know he was supposed to be on this week, but there was a mix-up. Anyway, we're going to do a two-part series. Asim's going to be sharing with you some of his family's recipes for herbal remedies. He's also got a special free offer for you. This is absolutely free, but it's limited. So please join us next week and learn all about how to make your own herbal remedies. Until next week, 
Have a great week. 